Hey! Well, I didn't expect to be here today. Oh, you're down there. I didn't expect to be here today, but... Or, sorry, but here I am. Hmm. Plans change. Things happen. Not a big deal. Anyhow, uh, I figured I'd uh, check out something. Uh, Jim Sterling had posted a, uh, let, uh, a video about this game, and I wanted to check it out because I want to do something different. I don't want to keep playing the same thing all the time. So I figured I'd take that opportunity to be a copycat. I don't know. I want to do something different, and this caught my eye. Fuck it. Let's do it. Um, this is a game on Kickstarter and called The Good Life. And I'm not 100% sure how it's going to play. I saw a little bit of the gameplay video. I saw a little bit of... Uh, um, of the de one of the developers playing it. I think it was a developer. It might have been just a person. I don't know. But uh, it's a Kickstarter uh, project, and um, it looks like they got about half of their goal already, a little over half of their goal. And it's, uh, let's see. Let me take a look at this. The description. The Good Life is a debt repayment daily life RPG. And uh, let's see. Uh, you like bizarre and mysterious things? You like unique and memorable characters? You want to enjoy a game that offers a lot of freedom, but you don't want to enjoy a good story. Well, but you also, but you also want to enjoy a good story. That helps. Um, think that's too much to ask for? Not in the good life. This game is made for you. Yeah, you down there. Ah, so let's see. Uh, apparently they were at PAX East. I didn't know. I didn't see them there. So many developers there and so many games on display, it's easy to accidentally pass up something. But, uh, anyhow, uh, let's see. Apparently the idea is to take photos. Uh, play as Naomi, a journalist from New York who moves to a backwoods British town. Uh, <laughs> oh, Windows. I am so glad. Okay, Windows sucks. I'm sorry. Um, ah, who moves to a backwoods British town called Rainy Woods in order to pay off her massive debt. The only way for her to escape from dead hell is to take pictures of happenings in the town <laughs> and report on them. Of course, the happiest town in the world is not your average town. The inhabitants of the happiest town in the world are some of the most bizarre people you'll ever come across. You'll live alongside them as you solve mysteries and experience a hearty helpingness of craziness. Be sure that you'll, uh, we're sure that you'll eventually come to love all the mystery, horror, and old, good old charm that this town has to offer. So the main character of this game is a female New Yorker named Naomi. In order to pay off her debt, she took a job from a newspaper company in New York and moved to the happiest town in the world. The game chronicles all the uh, all the bizarre things she experiences during her time in the town. <laughs> Just see that? Like a tornado of sheep. Oh, that's how I want to die. Just like that. Just a tornado of sheep. A uh, completely new daily life action adventure game with a slow life that isn't actually slow. Oh boy, that's uh, that happens in those backwater British towns, right? I think murder. Stabby stabs. In this game, the player has two main goals. Pay off your debt with money you earn from doing photography towns in the, in the uh, jobs in the town. Two, solve the mystery of the murder that took place in the happiest town in the world. The townspeople are also hiding a big secret. Kitty cats, apparently. In the moonlight, all the townspeople suddenly transform. And suddenly, the town is filled with cats and dogs. Once a month, everyone who lives there transforms into either a cat or a dog. Naturally, Naomi and the player will also turn into a cat or a dog. Huh. Alright. You'll be able to select whether you want to transform into a cat or a dog at the very beginning, but if you get far enough in the story, you may reach a point where you can freely... But if you get far enough in the story, you may reach a point where you can freely switch between them? Question mark. What happens in the town depends entirely upon you. How the townspeople behave, how their lives play out, and how the story ends, it all changes based on your decisions. How you interact with the townspeople and make 
friends with them will change how they think and behave. The townspeople's relationships will change based on how you play. In one town, you may see a surprising couple start dating. Or a normal character in your town may become mayor of your friend's town. You may even be able to influence how the story in your town plays out. The story will eventually lead its main character, you, to a shocking truth. As a journalist, your job is to take photos as you live out your life in the town. You can take photos of anyone, anywhere, then later post those photos on a photo app or sell them to a newspaper company for money. All you need to do is frame your subjects. Composition. The abilities of your equipment will determine the overall quality. I don't know, man. The camera doesn't make the photographer. They say, but apparently here it does. Uh, this means that in order to take good pictures, you'll need to acquire a lot of different tools. But first, you'll need to make a lot of money in order to pay off your debt, in order to buy good equipment, in order to enjoy yourself, in order to quench your thirst for fashion, in order to enjoy your life in the rainy woods to the fullest, you'll need to take every chance you can to earn some extra cash. Make money with your butt photos. Uh, well, butt photos. Okay. Um, <laughs> there's two ways for you to turn your photography, your photographs into money. The first is to use the in-game SNS photo app, Flamingo. Unlike Instagram, you can earn advertising profits for each like your photos get. All you need to do is start uploading them. Choose photos that best capture the seasons, add fun filters to your animal shots, or create a charming portrait. Choose photos that you think will get the most buzz in Flamingo and rack up the likes. The other way to sell your photos, uh, the other way is to sell your photos to Morningvale, a newspaper company. Photographs connected to the town's secrets will yield great rewards. What are the townspeople hiding? Since Naomi's debt is connected to Morningvale, all the money you earn through them will only be used to pay it off. Make even more money with various part-time jobs. What do you think of when you hear the word countryside? Gathering bugs and fruit? No, we're tired of that. Shear sheep, deliver milk, make jam and hay, do some gardening, work as a bartender, a casino dealer, a miner, or even mine for cryptocurrency if you want to. Enjoy some part-time jobs that are really out there and give your country life a, uh, a little mature flavor. Blow all the money you've earned and whatever you want. Fuck your debt. You don't need your debt. Psst, out of here with the debt. Who cares? Just pay it off. Default on that shit. Uh, you, can use <laughs> you can use the money to earn... You, the, you can use the money you earn to pay off your debt and buy new camera equipment, but sometimes it's just good to blow it on something fun. Go out for a drink, buy an expensive brand item, expensive brand item, enjoy some afternoon tea, start an antique furniture collection, and don't forget to reward yourself for working hard. Aren't that, isn't that what all those things are? Buy and start a collection? Enjoy the sea. Uh, enjoy the changes in time and season. Oh, it's pretty. This is an open world game centered around a rural English town. Naturally, the time and season will run on their own in-game clock. There will be special photos that can only take you can only take in certain seasons, which can be sold for lots of money. And we want traditional English events to appear in their proper seasons. Of course, classic events such as Halloween, Christmas, Valentine's Day, and Easter are also being considered. Aside from events, you can test your luck in other ways, such as journeying into mines to discover valuable ore veins and coughing up your lung, you know, fishing your heart out, or harvesting a field of crops. You can use money to give Naomi some style, try on some outfits, and pick the look you like best. Some clothes might even boost Naomi's parameters. You need to take good care of yourself. This game contains various parameters. For example, life, stamina, hunger, sleepiness, inebriation, beauty care. And for Naomi, a native to one of the world's most cutting-edge cities, beauty care is super important. Make sure you don't 
forget to give yourself some special care every morning and every evening. Otherwise, you'll lose your feminine charm and end up as a filthy flytrap. Ugh. <laughs> Once per month, you can enjoy the limitless freedom that only cats and dogs get to experience. Turn into a cat and climb up, high, uh, climb up to high places. Scratch walls and steal fish and chips from kitchens. Or turn into a dog and dig holes, follow scents, and swim in rivers and lakes. It only happens once a month, so make sure you get to enjoy it to your heart's content. Use your telescope lens to snapshots of targets and areas you can reach as a cat. Or get So the cat is carrying a camera with it? It's like, no, it's neck will be like... Uh, there are some mysteries that only animals can solve. And when you turn into one, you'll be able to do new things and venture to new places. So, certainly sounds interesting. And there are a whole bunch of goodies to go with it, if you so desire. Look at that, you get a hoodie over here. Look at that. And you get the letter B. So, this is, here's the devs. Go to the website, you know. Uh, check it out. I'll put a link in the description afterwards. So, let's actually check out the damn game. It, they posted a... Um, they posted a beta. Beta. Depending on where you're from. I say beta. It's just being a dick. Um, yeah. Posted a prototype demo. You can get it off their Google Drive link. And it looks like it's a fresh one. So it's out of April. That's the fourth month of the year. So, give it a shot. Dun, 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 decades. I've never hooked up the, the browser to this before. So bear with me. And let's find the damn game. Okay, OBS is seeing the game. Where is the game? There it is. Okay. Uh, yeah, it only uses the uh, Xbox 360 pad. Xbox controller 360. It, that's a little antiquated now. Xbox pad. Ooh, controller. Uh, as the prototype demo, this game can only be played normally with an Xbox controller, not fully representative of final gameplay. In the video that I saw before I loaded this up, the, uh, the person was saying that this is a game that's going to be um, a little more open than... Um, it's going to be an open world kind of game. And uh, what we have here is just a little slice of it. Uh, there's going to be like roadblocks keeping you from going further away and stuff. So this is just a sample. Just to get, you know, get, get your beak wet. Come on, game. Ooh, there we go. Okay, here we are. Yay, and there's the aforementioned uh, walls. Not walls, you know what I mean. Alright, let's see if we can do... Uh, there we go. I like seeing the inside of skulls. You never know what you're going to find. Anyway, that's you. That's me. And this is the town. Hey, sheep. Sheepy, sheepy. <laughs> okay, I don't know what the keys are here, and I'm kind of afraid. Oh, okay. X is uh, clearly letting me see like that. And oh, that took a photo. I'm glad it was of a sheep. Uh, I'm just trying to kind of figure out what zoom is here. Whether I can zoom, I have no idea. Okay, so it's just the right trigger, uh, right bumper, to take the photo. See your pretty, pretty sheepies. And, um, oh, okay. Let's walk around. Let's get killed. Oh, oh, jeez. <laughs> bounced right off me. <laughs> hey, buddy. Hey, hold on. Whoa, hold on. There we go. Adios. 
Let's see, this is the tea room. Cold hot drinks, ice cream, homemade cakes. I like it. But what are these signs say? So at any time, it's a little blurry even up close, but I think that's just the texture uh, resolution there. All right, let's try, can we go in there? Mm, doesn't seem to allow that. Okay, can't go in there. That's fine. Oh, hey, good evening. Yeah, I didn't expect to be on tonight. I thought I'd uh, give this a shot. Yeah, uh, no, I mean, I'm, I there was something about it. Like the second I saw it, I was like, it had a certain charm to it, and I was like, hey, I gotta take a look at that. I figured I'd do something on here, and this is the second time this guy's come around. Uh, so I'm not quite sure what to expect yet, other than uh, some of the stuff I saw. Oh, that's weird. Oh, all right, so. Back here, it gets a little clearer. It's almost like it, uh, the texture was lowering as I got closer, but I guess that's fair if I'm not... I wonder if there's, like, a focus. <laughs> Somehow, I don't think so. Nah, no such luck. Well, let's go see if there's signs that be a little clearer up back here. Yeah, that's what it was. It was, this, it was that. I see a little... Yeah, it's got a weird, um... Oh, what do you call that? The, uh texture when it's, uh, whatever. Filtering's kicking in. Or it's using, okay, I'm gonna shut up. Shut up, just shut up. It's a bug. Leave it alone. And that is a sheepy. Not a pretty sheepy. Right. <laughs> Here he comes again. You may not pass. Alright. So far, less bugs in Far Cry 5. So far. <laughs> and that's for a beta. Or a prototype, I mean. Uh, the Black Sheep, nine, uh, 1769. And they get free Wi-Fi. Well, that's nice. And it's true. I do have Wi-Fi. <laughs> Getting to me a little? <laughs> is that a good, is that, is that a bad thing? <laughs> uh, there's always a way to open any door. Except, wait, is that like legit? Can I actually get in there? Whoa! Whoa! Oh, okay. Now we know what's inside that building. Nothing. That's a fun. Uh, yeah, nothing in there. Either. Anyway, uh, let's see if we can find something to do here. Hey, sailor. What you doing? John Harrison. Wasn't that Khan? On. Cover bones. Hey, what are you staring at? Oh, hi. I'm staring at that lorry. That burning crimson red lorry. Huh? The truth is, uh, I lost a bet. And in order to pay off my debt, they nicked my beloved lorry from me. I just can't bear to part with it. That's why I was staring. I know I shouldn't stand here all day, but I'm so broken up, I, I just don't know what to do. Don't you have any pictures of your beloved Lori? If you really loved it that much, you must have a photo or two. A, a photo? I never thought of it. I never thought of that. Why, yes, that's what I should have done. I suppose those things simply don't cross your mind when your beloved is sitting there right in front of you. Maybe I can help you. Sorry, but it seems like you're screwed. You are screwed. <laughs> I like that, that this truck is just going around in a circle, just taunting him. <laughs> okay, then. I'll go snap a pic of your beloved Lori for you. This sounds so terrible with an American accent doing this. I'm just, that's just, I'm not even going to try. What? Really? Yeah, despite how I look. I'm actually a pro photographer. What the fuck does that mean? Despite how I look. What? Brilliant! Thank you so much! I'm really counting on you now! Counting on me for a photo? Was it really that? It's going to come around again, bro. Don't worry about it. Now just leave it to me. I'll make your Lori look so sexy you won't know what to do. What the shit? 
shit. And you'll pay me some money for it. Willie, you're just gonna go and... You bet I will. If you can snap me a shot of my blushing red lorry, I'll pay you whatever you want. You lost your lorry because you're broke, and you're willing to lose even more cash just to get a picture of it? You're nuts. It's worth it to me. Now please, I'm counting on you. Photo quest. Take a picture of the red truck. There, get a nice ass shot of it for you, buddy. There we go. Nice and blurred. Nice and blurry. There you go, you fuck. <laughs> Did you snap a picture of my lorry? Nah, not yet. Go ahead and lie, then. Oh, what are you waiting for? That blushing red lorry. My beloved crimson lorry. All right, all right. Give me a break. I want a damn good reward for this. <laughs> okay. Oh boy, oh boy. Come on, I'm, it's just gonna come around again. There it is. Let's stalk it. <laughs> it's blurry there too. They're all gonna be blurry. Or maybe, maybe we gotta get a shot of that fucking grill. There we go. Big old round ones right in your face, buddy. There you go. Did you snap a picture of my lorry? Nah, not yet. Wait, what are you talking about? Okay, I took. No, no, don't. Oh boy. All right. Oh. All right. Come on. Take a picture. So I get, oh, all right, maybe the, uh, I mean, that's still not okay, but maybe, um, thing in the top, uh, top right there, maybe I gotta trigger that before it'll. Is it a shot from the side? Oh my god. I'm, taking, I'm running out of film. Presumably. <laughs> I can jump in the back like Far Cry 5. It's all coming back to Far Cry 5. Oh wow. You can see inside. It, it. So yeah, go inside the building. Come on, you fuck. Come on. Get in there. Go straight. Come on. That they're doing a lot of clipping into the world lately. Oh, look out! Holy shit! <laughs> yeah, I busted it a little bit. <laughs> there you go. It broke its leg. That's funny. Well, I don't know what else to do here, because I've taken all the dirty photos I can of this sucker. Oh! Okay. Well, I guess I got it. Uh, tenth time's a charm. Oh, yeah. Here it is. You're a photo of your beloved bleeding red lorry. Now are you satisfied? <laughs> my lorry! Yes, this is it. This is my beloved blushing red lorry. Guess you are the real thing after all. Three L's. You're an asshole, you know that. Whoa, it took a turn. Not like I care as long as I get my money. Now cough it up, I want my reward. Thank you. If I ever need a photo of anything else, I know who to go to. The one who just called you an asshole. I'll photograph anything as long as it's legal. <laughs> oh, wow. <laughs> well, I, I crippled your blushing red, bleeding ass Lori, so you can go steal it. All right. <laughs>
Uh, what is what is the name of this place? This is the the Fish Bar Restaurant in Takeaway. Uh, Sunday roast, fish and chips. Let's see what we got here. Good beer, public house. Good beer. Oh, we got another. Uh, oh, I can pick this up. <laughs> I can pick them with. All right, fair enough. And is everything like super heavy for her? Here. Oh no, here we go. This is it, taking everything in the game now. Give me all this stuff. Alright, let's see what we got now. Uh, nobody wants to talk over there. Bartender don't give a shit. Uh, I don't care about you. Talk to this old creepy. Can I, t I can't talk. I can phase through you, but I can't talk to you. <laughs> oh. Inside, every old man is a real prick of a photographer waiting to get out. Alright. I'm just doing this. I don't know if this actually is a thing. I seriously doubt it. I think it's just... Yeah, it is. It... <laughs> yes, he is kind of a giant tooth. Man, look at those chin balls there. Good lord. <laughs> Alright, nah, pick up another one of these. <laughs> Alright, none of these people want to talk. Which is weird. Which makes me wonder if I really did just break the game and now, like, none of the events are firing. Alright, that's incomplete. You gotta remember, yeah, this is, this is just totally beta. Totally, no, not even beta. What am I saying? It's prototype. It's not beta. Beta would be like one step before we're out the door. This isn't like not even alpha. Can I talk to you? Why, yes, I can. Hey, why so blue, asshole? That's her voice now. It's already shit weather outside, and your face ain't making me feel any better. <laughs> well, it's my sister in law, Elizabeth. Uh, she's been acting a bit dodgy lately. Uh, apparently, she got intimate with a married man. Oh, she's cheating? Didn't think she was the type. How the fuck do I know? I just met this guy. Well, I'm not quite sure of it yet. I'll find out what's really going on. Okay, you fantasize about some pretty stupid, or pretty weird stuff, but you know what you want to say stupid. Oh, want me to catch him having a rendezvous? <laughs> what? You could really do something like that? Oh yeah, easily. This is a small town. I'm changing voices on you here. If nasty rumors start to spread, her future will be ruined. You need to be careful, quiet, and nonchalant. You really think you have what it takes? Hell yeah, I do. Leave it to me. But I expect a fucking reward. I think she might be having a rendezvous with him right now. I tried searching the town, but I can't find her. Maybe they went to a place where no one can see them. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Alright. Uh, so we gotta get some people necking, apparently. Uh, or worse. Let's see what we got here. No farting. Why am I doing that? Stop it. No parking. Contract parking. Only at rear. <laughs> Phrasing. Alright. So, <laughs> so there's another prototype boundary. Oops. Another sheepy sheep. Which I will take with me. Because of course I can. Can I get in there? Nope. <clears throat> Can I pick up the gnome? Oh yeah, boy, get the gnome. Uh, Miss Macaulay. Uh -huh. Oh, I just don't know what to do with that bloody fool. Who ever heard of a vicar who's always smashed by noon? <sighs> Something wrong. Oh, it's you. There was a pretty big sigh in there. 
You just moved here, so you probably don't know about this, but you do well to learn that marrying a drunk vicar will bring you nothing but a world of trouble. People call this place the happiest place in the world, but they still haven't convinced me, I'll have you know. At this rate, it won't be much longer until God himself abandons us. Well then, go on. Give him a piece of your mind. It's no use. Despite how he looks, his old age has made him as stubborn as a mule. He'll never wake up unless he were to see how drunk he really is. He certainly never listens to a thing I say. I hope you bring him to his knees. This is a lover's spat. Why should I get involved? Let me go snap a picture of that drunk vicar. I'll give that, that good-for-nothing loud of rude awakening. Uh -huh. Oh, honestly, I don't think it would be that easy. Once he notices you trying to photograph him, he'll act as if he isn't drinking anything. Don't worry. I can handle it. I'll just make sure he gets, his, he gets drunk as a skunk before I leave. Then in return, I expect a proper reward for the photo. If you can really cure him of his scourge, I'll pay any price. Sounds like a deal, bitch. Just sit tight. I'll be back in a jiffy. Come on, Noam. Let's go fuck some lady's career up in marriage. Get on the sheep. It said something about being able to ride the sheep around town. I have not been able to interact with the sheep. <laughs> Alright, can we get into the, uh... Can't, can't get into the cemetery. Come on, Noam. <laughs> we gotta take a picture of the rendezvous, which... Uh... Can't go that way. Oh, but I can pick up the boxes. Can I put the boxes in the back of the truck? Nope. Uh, anybody here having a, an affair? Anybody drunk as shit? Maybe it's this guy. No, that's the right ever. I don't think it accepted the second quest. It's not showing... I mean, I don't know if it's actually supposed to keep adding the, the quests over there, but... Uh, it's possible it could still be there. Oh, just a drunk. Now, is this a rendezvous? It is not. But then again, I don't know. Half the photo I, uh, photos I took before didn't register with the truck. Uh, let's see, what do we get for food here? We got hamburgers, classic cheese, smoky, chicken, veggie, and chili. Fries and sides. We got fish and chips, french fries, onion rings, shortbread. And for salads, we got chicken Caesar. Chicken Caesar. Uh, two <laughs> uh, I can't pronounce that. Tuna Nikois? I'm very uncultured, so bear with me. Uh, classic cob. Traditional British food. Hmm. Well, nobody in here is... Make it out, and nobody in here is drunk as shit that I can tell. So, I guess we gotta go around again. Oh, can't go in there. Unless that's like the end of the beta, and it's just like, here's some, in theory, things you could do. No idea. Sheep, tell me what to do. Run out of options. Oh, 
Let's get B rated. I can't take this any longer. I feel that feel that worried. Just go up to him and let him have it. Huh? There's no point in talking to him. No point in worrying either. He's simply beyond help. He'll never wisen up unless he were to somehow see himself when he's drunk. See himself when he's drunk? Yes, that's the problem. I tried showing him his reflection in the mirror, but he was so sloshed that his eyes were swimming. We'd have to take a picture of him somehow and then show it to him when he's in, in one of the rare instances when he's sober. Yeah, I did that. I help you bring him to his knees. Let me go snap a picture of that drunk vicar. I'll give that no good food. Blah, 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 blah. Uh -huh. Honestly, I don't think it'd be that easy. Don't worry, I can handle it. Make sure he gets drunk as a skunk. Return him to reward. Pay any price. Sounds like a deal. Sit tight up the back of the jiffy. And the mission thing doesn't update. Yeah, I'm kind of thinking... Uh, there's not much more here. Which is kind of an odd... Oh! Oh! Wait a minute. They were hiding. Oh my god. Scandal. Alright, start doing it. Alright. And... Action. Yeah, I'm kind of surprised there hasn't been a sim porno game now. Oh god, you know what's gonna happen. No, it hasn't happened. Has it? If it is, it's on Steam. Well, maybe not. Never mind. Come on. Do it. Do I hide somewhere? Or... Maybe they just need to be in a mood. There we go. There. Oh, no. There. Do it. There. That'll get, get everybody nice and hot. Alright. Well, there's no zoom on this, so I can't, like, take a photo from a distance. So, I think. Nope. <laughs> Do I gotta be in the bushes? Still, I can't focus. Make out, please. Please. Oh my god, if they don't start making out, I'm going to fucking scream. I'm going to scream. I'm going to get really upset. And then I'm going to phase out of reality. Okay, this is testing my patience. <laughs> yeah, I don't know no other key combinations here. Just start taking pictures. Maybe one of them will click. They look marvelous. No motion blur at all. Mr. Reset. <laughs> Mr. Reset? Oh, come on, Mr. Resetti. Greetings! Do you want to start all over again? Why would you even offer that? I kind of feel like I probably ought to. Because I wonder if something got hosed. Alright. Whoa. Yeah, do me. Whoa. 
What? <laughs> Do you want to start all over again? Sure, why not? Uh huh. I'm sorry, my boss stopped me. Maybe next time. What? What's? What is going on? All right. Drunk, you're drunk, you're drunk, you're drunk. Work the camera, work the camera, baby. Yeah, that's it. Do it, do it. I'm just going in circles, just like that lorry. Oh my god, you think the guy driving the lorry is just another version of me from another. I right, never mind. No, it's not. Well, uh. <laughs> It's going to be sad, because the dev will be like, oh, somebody's streaming it, let's check it out, and he'll see this, and be like, oh, stupid um, dipshit, it's over there, it's a thing, go over there, it's so obvious. That, that's why uh, it's really important to see other people, like when you're, when you're developing games, um, to get out, a fresh outsider opinion, because... When you write these things, you're like, you get like really, you know, uh, you, you lose all perspective. It's like, you, you, what it'll end up being like, yeah, that's really trivial and obvious. It actually might not be. And I think that might be the case here. Or it's just incomplete, or yada yada, it's just a prototype. Um, I expected some kind of, I don't know. They showed those two in the video. They showed them... Oh, look at the... You saw that, right? You fucks. I just don't know how to take a photo from this. So, alright, they were making... Alright, certain distance away... But it's all blurry. See, now they're making out. Making out. And then I stop. But I can't get a good... A good shot. Oh, dude, don't even... Don't say that. This is a thing. <laughs> Please don't. I can't crouch. Because <laughs> that would be amazing. Oh, no. Can I still, what, do I got to stack boxes? Is it even going to calculate any of these objects? Oh, God, I, why did you have to stack? Because now i got to go through with this. <laughs> Alright, where'd that, that bush go? Shrub. See, is it actually just the radius around the object? Or, or around the people? Or is it... Uh, gonna wind up being shit being just uh, like a line of sight thing so like it's whoa shit okay that's not working but at least we did see him making out which is a good start yeah see they're there I just can't get zoomed that way though Is there a line of sight from here? Like, uh... That doesn't really matter, because no matter how far away I go, I can't... Hmm. Is it some key combination that can zoom? I don't think so. No. No start menu, no nothing like that. Ah, <sighs> I'm at a loss, man.
Oh, I wonder... <laughs> of course. Well, I'm wondering if I have to use the truck to, like, hide me. And then I can take a shot as it's going around. But I've broken the game. <laughs> so we can't... Oh. Oh, hold on a sec. Holy shit. Hold on one sec. There we go. Okay. Well, let's load it up again really quick. And try that tactic. And if that doesn't work, I will be done. Because I have kind of hit my limit. Okay. It should load up in a second. There it is. Very dramatic. Very scary. Alright. What's up, sheep? Alright, I'm not gonna take that guy's photo. Lori photo, because screw him. But, let's see. Let's talk to this person. Get the... Shit weather. Elizabeth, uh, apparently she got intimate and married man. She's cheating. And next she was the type. Okay, I want me to catch him out of rendezvous. Okay, he's like a small town. That's your spread. Need to be careful, quiet, nice line. Have a taste. Tell me I do. It's worth the reward. Might be having a rendezvous right now. I tried searching the town, but I can't find it. Maybe they went over the and I can see them. Okay. This ain't gonna work. I know I won't. But we'll see. You can't say I didn't try. Come on, truck. Yeah, it's it like like crazy dramatic, and it's like I'm t I'm calling people assholes and taking photos. Sure, why not? Got a problem, asshole? Hmm. I'll bust film in your fucking face. Okay. There we go. This is not gonna work. I should have taken started taking photos now just to see if something happens. Are they even over there? Yeah, they were there the whole time. Alright. Alright, it's no zoom, no nothing, no keys that were busted before. Yeah, alright. Yeah, it's not in line of sight. It's just my radius to the event. <laughs> I have incredible straight. Oh! <gasps> oh! Yes! I'm free! <laughs> I'm <am> free! <laughs> That's amazing. Oh, oh, boy. Okay, here we go. We get no colliders on here, so. Oh, my lord. <laughs> Free forever. No more photographs. <laughs> okay, is that kind of <laughs> I should be heading back just to see what other trouble I can get into, but I gotta I I gotta go to the end of the world. Gotta do it. I'll try not to fall off the edge of the world, which is likely to happen. But I'm like really perplexed. Is this really? Uh... <laughs> I believe I made it out. Um... Yeah, it's probably got. It's there's probably no collider there, but I bet that mountain doesn't have a collider. All right, let's head back. <laughs> this is great. Uh... I can't. Here, get a photo of the end of the world. The world was flat. They were right the whole time. Alright. It's kind of like turning into a Twilight Zone episode now. It's like... A photographer from New York suddenly finds herself in London. In a small town. On the edge of the Twilight Zone. Oh, look at that. Up there. Oh, uh, yeah, of course I can't zoom. But up there at the top of the uh, church. Looked like there were two people. It's like a married couple that's about to jump or something. Might as well. Ok. 
can't really see him from here. Although I wonder if that's supposed to be... I think there's a zoom function that's missing. Because that looks like a guy who's up there, and that makes sense. We're looking for a drunk. And if that's the um, vicar, he's up there getting sloshed. I would never be able to take that photo. Ever. So, without a zoom lens. So, but that's what it is. I mean, there is nothing here. Oh, great. <laughs> it's a clip show. <sighs> I hope I'm not, like, embarrassing the guy if they do see this, because that's not my goal. I mean, this is just, this is, this is half of the fun I have with games, anyway. We know it's a prototype. We know that that was going to happen. That's a thing. And so I don't feel too bad. It's, it's all for fun. I always got to see what's over the mountain, over the edge here. So this is probably where we'll jump off at the end. <laughs> this is where we'll end it all. Mmm. All right. Now this is where it'll get real interesting. I mean, it's supposed to be an open world game, so there's probably maybe some stuff over here. Or not. And probably not. What am, why am I saying that? Of course there isn't. Because I bet they're not even that far into it. Prototype. Prototype. Not alpha. What's wrong with me? Alright, there you go. There's some ground. And I can't go back that way, of course. I'm, I'm completely sealed in. Completely. It's, it's an interesting tree. Uh, but there's some trees over there. Oh, now I'm real curious now. I know there's nothing here, but it still sparks that kind of uh, weird, adventurous, not supposed to be here kind of thing. And God, I wish you would run faster. Yeah, I kind of hoped maybe they'd uh, had some dummy junk that they didn't think anybody would see and just put it off to the side or something while they were building it. That's uh, uh, looking way less likely now. Yeah, I guess that's it. <laughs> There's a village off in the distance there. Finally, it's over. Do what you know you've got to do. <whistles> Goodbye. It's kind of how I hoped this would end, to be honest. Last known photograph. <laughs> Guess I'm done. Now, have I truly actually won the game? Because I escaped. Maybe. I didn't get a picture of the rendezvous. But I destroyed the rendezvous. No, I didn't. Alright. I'm gonna go <laughs> I'm gonna put this up for the moment. Uh, maybe I'll come back a little bit later with the... Uh, it, it, it gotta go into Far Cry 5 now. I got I got that urge. The, the pump, the blood. I gotta do it. Uh, <laughs> this was so much fun. I'm glad I did it. I'm hoping... I, 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 wanna, I wanna try to pull out some... Uh, some other games. That are like this. I mean, so if you see anything that looks interesting or something, hit me up on Twitter. At uh, 47. You know, you get the shit in the link on my uh, Twitch page. But, uh, yeah, if you rec yeah, recommend something, give me something neat. Yeah, she is in heaven! <laughs> Spread wings. <laughs> Alright. Uh, I'll be back in a bit.